ZZ. Downtown LA is a high 90 with a hot and sticky 55 humidity. Careful, folks. We got a 60% chance of a tremor. Another pile of shit, Mary Lou. Thanks. Gone for that Brazilian girl. Bruce loves them, but he's got less hair. Have you heard about the LA quake? Really big, just off the coast. Maybe I should sell a Malibu place, buy a place in the valley. Next big one, I'll own beachfront anyway. Shall I call the decorator? Tell her to stop the refurb. You should buy a place over here, girl. A lot safer. Hmm. You just have to see this. It reads so well. We've no idea where it's come from. Neither have the studio. And you read it? All the paperwork seemed to get messed up in the tremor. We don't know where it's come from, and you read it? Is it represented? Are we covered for fuck's sake? Tell me you haven't Xeroxed it. Jesus, you know the crap Spielberg went through. I thought we had channels for that kind of stuff. I know, I know. No unsolicited scripts. But you have to read it, Gil. Please. You guys do a course to learn to talk that way. I love the way you say that. It gives me a boner. Oh, I just think you should read it. Ow! Oh. Yes. Also. Asshole. Nice shot. This weather sucks. So, you're gonna read it? You know the rules, Sammy. We don't talk business on the green. So, you're gonna? <sighs> Sam, how long have you been screwing me for commission? Too long. Oh, by the way, Pepsi called. They're adding one more territory and up in the residual. Fine. Tell them uh, three points on the escalation, I'll wear the Christmas suit. Well, tell them, tell them to drop yours, will you? Can't let them see me like that. It's bad for my sophisticated image. Hey, did I mention a script? How many times I gotta tell you, Sammy? That we, we don't, don't talk business on the green. We should have went with Brioni. Pierce always wears Brioni. I hate green. It makes me look ill. I feel like fucking Elton John. You do? So who's this broad playing Monica Lewinsky? Is she babe or what? Great look. Like a knight in shiny armor. Versace. It's Versace. You think we should go with Brioni? Oh, no, too old for you, sweetie. That is just fabulous. A little ostentatious? More Austin Powers. Why doesn't Monica get to wear anything like this? I'm going to call Donatella myself. Oh, she did Phyllis Hurley. Oh, shit! And he's supposed to be playing Clinton. Looks more like fucking old than John. You know, this could work. Check the tuxedo, too. We might want to think green. And get me Malibu on the phone. I need to talk to the decorator. See, if I had another trailer, the whole world wouldn't be watching me work my ass off out here. Are you paying attention or what? Huh? Nine. Ten. Goddamn script is haunting me. I love this song. Maybe you should use it in this. Hundred and twenty-nine. Hundred and thirty. See, Bruce has it in his contract. He gets four trailers. One to relax in. Uh, one for his hair and makeup. One for the gym. And one for people to hang out in. People? Yeah, you know, his goddamn friends. 
So who would hang out in yours? Yeah, that's pretty funny. One good reason. I'll give you three. The title. What if? It's a great title. High concept. Enigmatic. Thought-provoking. Stunning. Two words. Two words? Two syllables. Bullshit, horseshit, crocker shit. Movies with two syllables are the kiss of death. How do you figure that? Oh, the blob, the cell, the fan, need I go on? The sting, the firm, the rock, need I? The godfather. That's three syllables, is it? She knew that. I love what you did with the room, honey. What about Batman? Rain Man? What can I tell you? It's a man's world. Spider-Man! What about Ben-Hur? Ben-Hur? Now the hit from the good book. You only like it because it's got bitch in the title. Anyway, nobody buys that religious shit. Eleven Academy Awards. Every nomination a winner. Best motion picture, best actor, best okay, actress. Okay, okay. The guy can't write. I thought you said he was English. He is. F.R.A. Davis. I guess he's jumping on a sequel wagon. You know, like J.K. Rowling and J.R. Tolkien. J.R. who? Hey, wait, wait. Look at this, look at this. He was the sentry of his universe. C-E-N-T-R-E. The guy can't even spell right. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Uh, her eyes pierced his amour. <laughs> there he goes again. Amour. What is this guy, French, Italian? I thought we were after making a quality movie. Yeah. Plain English. Is that too much to ask? Yeah. And the paper. Look at all the fucking paper. All right, I'll give you that. It's a little fat. Limey Hack figures he'll make a $100 million movie if he grosses out on the fucking paper. <laughs> Brett's. Yeah. Who needs him? Did you read it or speed it? Hey, you know what? That's cute, Sam. But show me a lock script, and I'll read it. Gil, we can't lock it until you read it. What do we pay readers for? I read it. Don't you just love the part where all the virgins fall to their knees in front of him and prostrate themselves? They do that? I think that's kind of perverted. Only if it's gratuitous. So just how many virgins would there be? Hundreds, thousands. All on their knees? Gil, it's no use just reading snippets. You have to read the whole thing. Oh, yeah, and that's my third reason. What? The whole thing. There's only two. And in the wrong places. How am I supposed to take this seriously when it's only got two holes? Okay, so it's got two holes. It's English. It exudes class. What's wrong with two holes? It's all right for you. That's all you got to work with. Me, I'm a three-hole kind of guy. Hey, that reminds me. You see how many cigars you get getting thrown in this Clinton movie? What are you doing with them, Gil? Eating them? Oh. Oh. oh, there's something about a sex that makes me go all gooey. Oh. Why don't you try a little taste oh, of this? It just turns my backbone to jello and Come my... Come on, Stella. You're supposed to be helping me stay in character. So how about this? I did not have sex with that woman. Still don't believe you, Bill. <laughs> Neither did they. Why don't you just try a little taste of that? Oh. Ow! Ow! Who put that goddamn thing here? Opportunities like this don't just drop out of the fucking sky, Gil. I've been busting my balls on this Harry Potter deal. If you don't make a decision by Friday, they're gonna sign Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe? Friday? Look, I'm at the airport in 15 minutes. Don't break the habit of a fucking lifetime. Make a decision. Decisions, decisions. Now, when push came to shove and decisions needed to be made, most of the other A-list guys have their own foolproof method of picking a winner. But for me, there was always Greta. Want one? I'll pass. Won't die before your time, sugar. I'm not so sure. Hmm? Oh, I see. This ain't just about this. I, I keep getting these headaches. Blinding light searing through my brain. It's it's like my head's gonna. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! Steady down. I hear you. 
Just breathe deep. Greta's going to make everything fine. Just let me tune in. Now, it usually took Greta just two or three drags to tell me whether it was yay or nay. What if? Now, there's a thought. Where'd you get this sugar? Uh, in England, I think. Why? Because this don't read like the usual. Nah. This is different. Kind of strange. Now, as Greta sat polluting half of Western Europe, she started humming. I'd heard it before, but I just couldn't figure when. <laughs> and funny, too. Yeah, but, but is it a winner? Yeah, Greta knew all the tricks. We went back a long way. She knew just which button to press. And she just loved pressing them. I need more time. Oh, Come on, Gret. I thought you could see everything. Can't see anything beyond... Friday. Friday? No, I see Friday, all right. But nothing passed. Whoa. Danger. Blood red. Something serious is going to happen on Friday. It's a tumor. I knew it. I'm going to fucking die, aren't I? And would you stop humming that tune, for Christ's sake? Oh, it ain't me, sugar. I'm just joining in, like a duet. And just for the record, this voice I'm humming with, he's got a message for you. A message? Omne sum codes. Vita menarendum. Deligo si tua. Vita nahil. Vita nahil. Ali uragis. Hak perdici. You okay, sugar? You know what that was, don't you? A prayer, a fucking requiem. Oh, God, I can see it now. Famous movie star dies alone in a hotel room. Hey, Boy. hey, hey, hey. Steady down. Now, I don't know what that voice said, but I sure got the next part. He said, ask your dad. He's some kind of Latin teacher, right? Uh, a professor of ancient languages. Well, that sounded pretty ancient to me. Ain't no dog in my hood speaking no Latin. Ah, uh, what am I gonna do, Greta? Just do as the voice said. Ask your dad. We'll wait till Friday. Leave a message at the tone. Ah, oh, Jesus, Dad. Stella faxes to my father's office. Gee, this looks foreign. I thought your dad was American. Just fax the goddamn message, please. I'll get back to you. The Universal, Paramount, Miramax, TriStar, and Bowfinger. They all want to speak to you. Phone's been ringing off the hook. If you ask me, somebody's been spreading the dirt on that what-if thing. Oh, yeah, and a Mel called. Heard it was religious. It seemed real interested. Harry Potter people have called three times already. Uh, tell them, uh, tell them I'll get back. Your funeral. Won't die before your time, sugar. Oh, God. Are you okay, Gil? What? Yeah, it's just something she said. What, Greta? Shh, keep it down. Don't want everybody to think I'm crazy. She sees everything, right? But she can't see anything beyond Friday. Friday? Three days. Three goddamn days. And we need a decision by Friday, otherwise Russell Crowe's the next Harry Potter. Fuck Harry Potter. Maybe they will. Russell Crowe with glasses did it before, lost him the Oscar. I don't know if I'll ever make another movie. What? These headaches or migraines or whatever. They're fucking killing me. Jesus Christ. Gil. I walk on set and I'm fine, right? I look for my key light and bang, 
My brain goes into spasms. Oh, baby, have you seen a doctor? Hey, it's just stress. All this Potter pressure. Maybe he's got a tumor or something. Or maybe you need glasses. I'll call the production office and... No, no, no. This doesn't go out of this room. This gets out. You're uninsurable. We're overreacting. There has to be a cause. Well, maybe it's the green gill. Yeah. Yeah, it's just an allergy. Are you fucking nuts? Gil, you've been burning the candle. All you need is some sleep. Sleep? I dare close my fucking eyes. Just 48 hours, and I'll be fine. Got something? Yeah, 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 come on over. Look, babe, this thing's got me turned inside out. Can't you come over here? You know what day it is. I ain't driving no place. Oh, Gil. I hate driving here. Everyone drives on the wrong side. Greta, I cannot be seen driving to some downtown hotel in the middle of the night. You know what happened to you? Besides, it's still Friday. I'm staying put. For God's sake, Greta, you gotta help me. <laughs> Call you back. Yeah, yeah, I'll call you back. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Greta. I know I've been neglecting you, Russell. I know. I know. Well, he should have read your poem. We've been having this problem. Yeah, I can't see past Friday. Hello? Stella, I need a car. Your driver will be with you at 7. You're not called till 8.30. Rusty, I see you in glasses. You look good.
Cal, if I didn't know that was gonna happen, it would have scared me to death. <laughs> Maybe I should just take that look. Couldn't get past Friday. Only it was Fridays. And when I saw past, it all became clear. Like somebody turned a light on. Yeah. Light like a, a blinding light. This wasn't no Latin at all. It was some kind of... Uh, Arabic. Arabic? No, no, it's Aramaic. It, it's from the Bible. It's about a, an accident that Paul had on the road to Damascus. Well, this is Damascus Lane. Don't you see? This is the gospel. You were chosen, Gil. You got to take this to the people. You got no choice. You have seen the light. Now you got to find him. That's what my dad said. He said, if you do nothing else, find him. had somebody read it for him. Wait, hold on. Wait, I'll do it. I'll do it. I want to do it. I love it. Don't, don't trust that guy. Make Jesus a Jew just so we can cast one of his buddies. He ain't even a Christian. He'll turn the church into a goddamn synagogue. Hey, look, look, look. I'll pay for your church room now. I'll build a whole new church. You don't need a church in a nice place like this. I'll build the one where you really need one. It's valuable. Hey, Standing here. 